Refugees from the Central African Republic are helping ease tensions with local residents over scarce firewood and preserving forests in the process. With new energy-saving stoves, they use briquettes made from clay and sawdust collected from local sawmills. Many people in Mbili town no longer need firewood for cooking. Here's their story. 30-year-old Awo Amadu from Central African Republic makes a meal of stiff porridge on a clay stove fueled by small briquettes. It's a change from the open wood fire she's used to and easier than spending hours searching for wood far from the refugee camp where she lives in Mbile, Eastern Cameroon. Mbile's population of 5,000 swelled by nearly 16,500 between 2012 and 2014 as thousands of refugees fleeing violence in the Central African Republic found shelter in the village. The country is host nearly 370,000 refugees, 274,000 of them from Central African Republic, where conflict spiraled in 2013, driven by ethnic and religious grievances and vying over vast diamond resources. Using energy-saving stoves that use briquettes made from sawdust and other waste is also helping to ease tensions between refugees and locals over increasingly scarce wood in the area. Although the new stove made by the refugees were initially designed for the refugees, local residents have also embraced them. Mbile now has 10 centers making the fuel, five in the refugee camp and five in the village, each producing 8,000 briquettes per day. The briquettes are made with clay and sawdust from local saw meals. Nearly 70% of Mbile's population the longest search for wood in the bush. Rodrigue Jacou runs the project in Mbile for the German development agency Giz. Using sawdust briquettes helps save about 16 tons of dried wood per day around Mbile. One year after, it's about 6,000 tons of dry wood that are preserved around Mbile because they are not cut down. Surveys carried out after the implementation of the project show that almost 70% of the Mbile population is no longer searching for wood in the bush. According to the Cameroon's Ministry of Forest, about one hectare of forest is cut down per person per year to supply enough wood or charcoal to burn. That amounts to about 1.6 kilograms of wood per inhabitant per day. However, these numbers could be higher as the most recent national data on the use of wood as firewood or charcoal is more than five years old.